Hey, it's a hey. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, it's a hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna put it up. Hey, it's a hey, everyone. Welcome one to another uh, showdown sweep. And today's one, we got a Skelly Dire sweep. Skelly Dire. Uh, it's a it's a fire ghost type. It is a a one of the final evolution starters in the game, and it is part fire ghost. Obviously, I said. Now this Pokemon is kind of like like it's a very kind of an interesting Pokemon. However, in the battles, it's sort of like it's it's an alright Pokemon, but honestly, I would say this thing can be a very fretting, special attacking, bulky one. And you know, I I'm not gonna say this one is probably my favorite favorite one of them all, but I will show you anyway. So yeah, this thing has a very complicated, more of a bulky set, but let me show you anyway. So. <laughs> Now this one is has 110 for special attack, 104 for HP, which is pretty amazing for stars or starter obviously. <laughs> it has 100 for uh, physical defense, and then the other stat is just blah, pretty much. We got 75 for its physical attack and 75 for special defense, and then its speed is 66. So it's not a fast one at all, and it just hits hard, but it's not fast. So. We're gonna have to figure out if, if we have to fix that speed in case that happens. So I ran basically this set, uh, this little build, and I wanted to try this Aspharos, a uh, little uh, baton passing set. And you probably don't understand why it's just so good now. So as long as you have some good speed with uh, Skelly Dirge, um, you're pretty much a big threat for the, in pretty much everything, because <laughs> that's a very cool, uh, uh, cool. Uh, Cool move, which is I oh my god, I'm mixing up my senses. Yeah, sorry, but yeah, it has a very good uh, move pull with its lot of special attacking moves, and even gets a cool new move called Torch Song, which 100% chance to raise your user's special attack by one stage. So that is a very good move in general, but however, since it's a <laughs> it's a slow one. Um, it's not. It's gonna just hit hard, but it's not gonna be outspeeding most of it. So yeah, we have a very fast team, so we're gonna have to figure out a, a way to counter this one. So we versus it against Bob Bob Ross sixty five. <laughs> I like that name already. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna press play, and this one it went a little bit of a different one. Um, we pretty much went with Doug Drio, and then we just pretty much send it uh, in afterwards with Aspera, and we just let the battle go there. So I went for protect and. Chi a chain pow chain pow Ch oh my god it's so weird because i feel like i'm about to say something a bit odd to me to say it so yeah i went for protect to see what's going to use it goes for avalanche that's a different one and then you sacred sword and then i went for sand attack and afterwards i went for my espera and pretty much set up there and you know what to do uh when it comes for you <laughs> sorry but yeah um but that's pretty much it for that i'm pretty much cool for espera just to set up a couple of calm mines and then betal to do skelly dire and that's where the sweep happens. Okay, enjoy the sweep. A freshly good salt at the first battle and hope you guys enjoyed the Skylar Dyer sweep that was a very bright brilliant salt there coming out of that one and <laughs> yeah actually not gonna lie with this build I got a lot of rage quits with this build like a few ones 
And there was a lot of moments where I couldn't get this 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 set working because there was a lot of opponents who wanted to use like like there was a lot of few opponents who used like setup move their own, and then there was like a couple like two or three people that were using like moves that would automatically switch me out. And there was possibly possibly would be where there will be one person out there who had haze, and <laughs> you understand what exactly what is going on. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, without the speed, this thing is not a threat. It's kind of just powerful. So uh, yeah, you gotta be careful with that one. So yeah. Um, so this last battle was against um, the Rome Miscure, and he had, or she had. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna just go with the trainer card and show people what exactly what's going on. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just pretty much it. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure how to really. Um, how to really ex exactly understand what exactly the team is basically going to be doing to my team, or my, my I mean, like, I have a good, like, here's the thing, Skeldire is pretty good against his full team, I mean, we had, um, we have a, a Phalanx, or, or let's see, we have Sy Scizor, which is just bye-bye, we have, uh, Loxy, or, or, Lu 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 Lukis, Lukis, Lux I'm not sure how to really, <laughs> say that one but <laughs> if anyone wants to pronounce it feel free to um and then we have a couple ones other uh we have uh we have iron valent which is my favorite one out of them all um which i just I just i, I mean it's, 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 i can go down so i think it, maybe i can be able to win this one so um anything else i don't think there's anything to have to worry about too much so yeah and uh, yeah i think it's time for another sweep so i hope you guys and girls enjoy this one um and let's see here yep that's pretty much it so yep here we go people and hope you guys and girls enjoy this one and i'll give you a full explanation at the end of the battle all right enjoy the sweep number three or sorry two Okay guys, hope you guys enjoy the Skeletire sweep here, and let me explain the moopole of this very, <laughs> this very fretting Pokemon, right? <laughs> but yeah, let me explain it, and let me show you exactly how to exactly much run this build for my personal, I mean, I'm not sure if this is actually how you run it, but I will show you anyways how I exactly run this one. So yeah, this one was a kind of a complicated uh, sweeper, but I was able to gladly do this one. Because, um, you know, <laughs> I just want to get this out of the way. So, yeah. So, this one is a Torch Song, Shadow Ball, Mud, Splat, uh, Mud Slap, and Disarming Voice set. Uh, I've got Max Attack. Oh, I'm sorry, Max Attack. <laughs> that could be a... That, that, you know what? That's a difference that we can talk about in a few seconds. But, yeah. We got Max Special Attack, Max Health. And for, for the def uh, defense, we got Assault Vest as the um, 
as the item because in case we had to run something sort of bulk, I ended up running that one. And we have unaware as the ability um, in case any or like any also supported Pokemon wants to use any special attacking move. Uh, I have unaware in case that happens. So yeah, this is a obviously a baton passing uh, speed boosting set. And in case I want some bulk, I have Birdo or <laughs> Esfera who will be setting up a couple calm mines to increase my special attack plus with the speed boost and then they'll give it to Skelly Dirge and that's pretty much it so this uh, like the first two battle like the, the first one was a complete salty rage quit and the second one was a very nicely but also a pretty uh, cool moment that I was able to use most all my movesets I was able to finish off the <laughs> the failings with a disrespectful mud splat mud slap with base power 20 which is a little bit of content and have disarming voice as well I feel like that I felt like this one more of a uh, some sort of type of like a like I just realized hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> I just realized uh Quack Quabble is a dancing uh, Pokemon and Skelly Dyer has moves that is based around singing is the starters based around musical <laughs> My gosh, have we just figured? I just found out the truth. <laughs> because Torch Song, Quack Quabble's move set. Yes, yes, it's a it's a, it's a musical uh, team. We have a, we have a musical team. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not gonna go over yet, but yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I have Torch Song for signature move to increase my special attack. I have Shadow Ball for stab, Mud Splat for for the memes, and the Zombie Voice in case there is any dragon or potentially be any dog type who wants to just ruin my day and <laughs> that is was really good to have it on my my set and then i must let for just if case if i'm finding a, a you know <clears throat> an electric type just for the fun then i'll use mud slap uh, for that time and that's pretty much it for really really how to run this uh scale uh, dirge sweep or the set um if you want to replace this set with something else, you could replace this thing with, like, for example, um, for example, first of all, Mud Slap, <laughs> definitely. You can replace it with uh, Earth Power. Um, as for its other moves, it actually doesn't really have any better moves than that. So I can maybe you can maybe replace. Um, uh, you can get rid of Snarl or get rid of Mud Slap for Snarl or Zombie Voice for Snarl in case there is any uh, Psychic type Pokemon. But here's the but here's the thing, you have Shadow Ball, so Psyche type is go bye bye with that. So there is not any really reason to run any different moves than these. Um, you could potentially maybe, just maybe run a Protect set or like something with Slack Off, uh, just to heal yourself in case there's any. Uh, if there's any chance you'll fight any uh, any Pokemon who has a little bit more of a stalling set, you can maybe use like Slack Off to heal yourself if that has to happen. Or you can just use uh, Protect in case there's any priority moves users like um, Sucker Punch, Fake Out, or any of those moves. But then again, here's the thing: you also have to be careful about Pokemon that has more of a um, more of a base strength. About I mean, here's the thing: this battle, uh, I had to rely on making sure there's not like any physical attacker who will be one-shotting me. I mean, I would say the huge counter for this set. Um, I would say any Sash users who can potentially maybe A, use Mirror Coat, <laughs> if there aren't any, or B, use a, um, use a move to drop my, uh, drop, like, pretty much using, like, let's say, like, Trick Room and Destiny Mod can work. Um, Grudge can also be annoying. Um, there's also Pokemon who has, uh, also Unaware, but also has a huge attack stat. Like, I could say maybe... Um, maybe uh, if there is a chance, if there's a Quack Quabble who has like a max attack, um, obviously a max attacking Adamant Nature one with, uh, with the Sash or something with, uh, Aqua Dra or like Aqua Step, or maybe that would be probably enough to take it out, and that's pretty much all I can say from that one. Um, any other sets, that's really pretty much it for that one, how to counter really much of this one. Uh, then we have a couple other sets I want to show you people how to really, if you want to run this one, it's a different set. Um, the first one we have is a speedy, or is, this has actually a similarity to the set. We have Flame Charge, Shadow Ball, Torch Song, and Earth Power set. This is a, a different set. This one is a Flame Charging uh, Weakness Policy set. And kind of similar to um, its already main move set. 
Uh, the only thing I replaced it was um, was Mudslap and the uh, Disarming Voice for Flame Charge and Earth Power. So um, you can run like maybe like Sticky Web on the field and then like run like Flame Charge to increase your physical attack, or sorry, <laughs> your increase your speed, and then maybe you can get an uh, activate Weakness Palsy. Use Torch Song to increase your special attack, and then hope the best your other moves will one shot the remaining Pokemon and. That's all I can say so far. Uh, you need bulk for this one, so you need health, unfortunately. So you're probably going to need Sticky Web on the field in case that happens. And even if you run max speed, I would say right here. I mean, it's a solid speedy one, but it's like... Is it really worth it? I mean, you can run that one, but like... I could not say if it's a good one to use it because it's more of a tanky one. More of a speedy one, so... <laughs> I could say try maybe with, I mean, if you want to take the risk and use it, you can use like a Timid Nature one, um, just to try um, use that um, speed. Just make sure you have a Flame Charging set on that move or that uh, build. Use like Timid Nature, char uh, Flame Charge with Weakness Palsy, and then maybe you can use, uh, just make sure you're one-shotting the remaining Pokemon. Um, and that's it pretty much for that. Uh, then we have another set, which is the one I mispronounced. We have a Weakness Palsy Physical Skelly uh, Dire set. This is a Blaze Weakness Palsy, as I said. <laughs> it has Flame Charge, Earthquake, Sea Bomb, and Shadow Claw set. Um, yeah, this thing is still not as fast one, but in case you want to counter any bulky sets, or any like a bulky like physical attack, like something with like... I, I mean, I'm not saying this one is actually uh, has any like weak... I mean... Yes, it has huge weaknesses. I know there's a lot of weaknesses there's actually in general, but um, if you, in case you want to run like a meme set, like something like me, I love to use a physical skelly dryer set. It's very powerful, people. You can try this one out. Um, you can try this set. Maybe you can try surprise your opponent. Maybe you can try this one out. Um, I mean, it's in solid this set. I mean, it's not as super powerful. I haven't tried myself my my own. But I could can clear myself that this thing could be, it could be a very solid attacking set. But fortunately, since you're only running a weakness, what weakness is it? What <laughs> weakness policy set? You're only gonna rely on, on the plus two on the physical attack and not special attack, obviously. So um, you're gonna have to be careful of that, and also you have to be careful about your speed because you know you're running an adamant nature one because you need a more base power on the physical attack. Thanks to Revolve, we're doing discussion or a little explanation for the sweep. Um, you can run like uh, maybe you could replace. I mean, you actually no, that's it. Actually, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a more mistake. So yeah, um, just make sure you have a sticky web, and then maybe make sure your opponent doesn't like, like, like hope that they don't actually attack you like the first like. They have to potentially use a swap. I would say like make sure they swap into a different Pokemon. Use flame charge to get a, yourself a plus attack or plus. But uh, I'm actually gonna miss My this plusing up your speed. Then make sure they drop their one speed, making sure you're solidly good to go with your speed tie, and then hope the best you can outspeed the next Pokemon. But then again, you have to think about there's a lot of different Pokemon who can outspeed this thing, and this thing can, yeah, this thing can go down pretty much pretty simple. Like it's, I mean, it's a solid bulky one, but it's not Superman, so <laughs> I would say it's 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 a fair use if you want to try it. But yeah. The last move set I want to show you people is this bulky one that I run, or not run, but I want to show you people, in case you want to try something more, just for fun. Uh, we have a fire spin, curse, mud slap, and will o wisp set, a uh, wisp set, <laughs> a wisp set. Uh, leftover is the item, and unaware as the ability. We run, you can run max special defense and max health with the four for the defense. Uh, you can use this one for a trapping your opponent, use or use Will O Wisp to burn your opponent, trap them in, use Mud Slap to you know try to get their accuracy drop by a lot, and then Curse to just you know try and make yourself as bulky as possible, and maybe that can potentially help you out. But here's the thing: you won't able to have rest or like slack off or anything like that, so you can maybe potentially like replace um, Mud Slap for like slack off and stuff. But you're gonna have to make sure you have some entry hazards like toxic spikes, like stealth rocks, spikes, and all of that stuff in case that this is gonna be your main set for a sweep or something like that. Uh, because you know, in case there's any like Pokemon, that, like for example, 
Most likely everyone knows this Pokemon, definitely. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone knows this, but there's a Pokemon called Toxic Toxic Spec uh, Toxic Spec? What? <laughs> Toxipex. And this thing that thing can use haze, it can use recover, and obviously the most common move of them all that we all don't know if we can learn. But did you know Toxipex can learn Toxic? I did not know as well, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that can also be a move um you can use. Um in case that is happen, if you want to be countered by a poison type user, uh, a good chance for you to replace Ghost, which is the, the, the Terra I'll be using. Uh, you can replace it for poison, so you can maybe avoid the poison effect from it. So like any like any like any um, any toxic users want to use that against you, and maybe if you want, you could also try attempt yourself a. You can maybe replace. Uh, uh, Will o Wisp for Yawn. Maybe you can also um, you can also uh, put the opponent to sleep and then fire spin it so they will be stuck there. They will be sleeping and they won't be able to do anything as much for the next few turns. And you can potentially stall them till they just go down. So maybe that could be a different set. So like you can use like this set and then use this. That could work as well. Um, the only uh, only counter I would say for this one if there is any other where obviously. Unaware Pokemon who else also has recover moves. Um, if you want a counter for this set, I could say you can try maybe try a set that has this like maybe you can use Sing or no actually that wouldn't work actually never mind this that, that actually pretty much is I can, I can, I'm sorry I can't have to be honest that is only the only a counter you can say from that one but yeah um, but then again who wants to use this set anyways but you can run if you want to but yeah. That's pretty much it for the Skell Age Dyer uh, set and um, build. Uh, the last one is going to be a Mouse Garter set, and I hope you guys and girls are going to enjoy that the highlight. Um, possibly that will be the last starter one. I'll be making it sweep for a while, and then afterwards I'll be moving on some other content and see you from, or maybe I will move on some, some maybe some uh, other gameplay sweeps or something. I don't know. But if not, I'll may maybe we'll make more of those. But yeah, see you next time for another highlight, and as always. Stay lucky out there.